we haven't gone out much except to do essential things like the grocery store and it's time to make a grocery haul run. Hi guys, I'm so glad you tuned in. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. So today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you an essentials grocery haul. Um, I don't need a lot of things, but I do need to re-up on the things that we use the most. Um, it is normally senior hours. It's very early this morning. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Uh, but usually here where I am, they let the seniors in first, like from 7 to 9 a.m. in the morning. And then they let everyone else in after the seniors has uh, gotten their groceries and go on about their way. So um, we're next and we're going to go in and hopefully there's no lines. I hate standing in line, so we're going to hit it really early and pick up the things that we need. I'm probably not going to film inside the grocery store because it's just too difficult with a mask and gloves and trying to be careful and people and, and empty shelves, it becomes too much. So I'll catch up with you all back here when I'm done. Let's go. I know that we're all having trouble finding paper products and bleach, but what other items are you lacking in your area? Leave me a comment, let me know. Okay guys. I'm back at home and this is my essential grocery haul for the week of April. What's today? I don't even know what today is. Um, I think, what is today? April 17, 2020. Okay, so I got some organic eggs. I only got a dozen this time because I still had a few in the refrigerator. I wasn't completely out, but I know that uh, by the time the weekend was over, I would be out of the ones that I had, so I picked up another dozen. I picked up 16 ounces of sour cream. I'm going to use this in my ranch salad dressing. I love ranch salad dressing, but it's so hard to find store-bought store -bought brands that I like. So I have started making my own salad dressings, and I'm going to use this part of it for my salad dressing, and the other part is going to be for my baked potatoes. A couple days a week, we go vegan with no meat. So baked potatoes are a large part of that. So part of the sour cream will be used uh, for my baked potatoes. Um, for my baked potatoes. I also got some um, tropical punch mini made. Everybody likes that. With the four of us, we go through these pretty quick. I've got a couple of them in the freezer and I've got a couple of them in the refrigerator. Um, this one is going in the freezer. And same thing with the pure leaf tea. Uh, we like the extra sweet one. In my down, I have quite a few of these in my downstairs pantry, and that's where this one will go as well. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got some tuna. I got some bumblebee albacore tuna. Um, we do that a lot. I got these bean sprouts, and I'm going to use these in some fried rice that I'm going to make. And I got a couple cans of uh, corn just to replace the one that I used the other day when I made um, taco on Taco Tuesday. I used my other one. So I'm going to replace the one that I used. Same thing with the black beans. Um, they go into the pantry. I used it the other day when, on Taco Tuesday, uh, but I'll probably end up using this in some chili. I usually do a three bean chili and black beans is one of the beans that I put in there along with my, um, along with the chili beans. And um, I also use uh, red kidney beans in my three bean chili. So that's what that'll be used for. Um, replacing the um, refried beans that I used on Taco Tuesday as well that are going to the pantry and black eyed peas. My family loves black eyed peas. I usually kick them up a notch by adding my own um, garlic and onions to this. And then I got some pasta sauce. Um, Dave's Gourmet Pasta Sauce. I love this pasta sauce pasta. I usually don't get a box this big um, but I did. How many ounces is that? 48 ounces. That's quite a lot of pasta, but I am going to be cooking some of that tonight. I'm going to be making a lemon pepper shrimp. Not lemon pepper, I'm going to be making a lemon butter shrimp with a thin spaghetti as my pasta. I still have to go to the store and get some shrimp. They didn't have shrimp at the grocery store. And then here I've got some uh, organic 2% milk, which is what we all drink. Um, my son is lactose intolerant. So we try and get the 2% or even the lactose-free. They didn't have any lactose-free, but we got the 
and then I got some Simply Lemonade. We go through this stuff. We mix the Simply Lemonade with the uh, extra sweet tea. Then of course I got my necessities, my creamer. I got the uh, vanilla cannoli cream latte. I got the Cinnabon and I got the caramel latte. Those are the three that I keep and I rotate those depending upon how I'm feeling whatever particular morning as to what flavor latte I will have. Um, I also got some barbecue sauce. Well, my husband did. He's going to put some uh, some uh, hot dogs and burgers on the grill. I got a buffalo chicken. What is it? Buffalo style chicken macaroni and cheese by Devour. Oh, my children devour these. So this one will go downstairs in the freezer. I got some um, chicken stock. I got chicken. I got turkey. Kitchen Basics is the one that I use and these were the only two that they had so I ended up having to get a Swanson's as well but uh, Kitchen Basics is the brand that I usually get and I usually get the stock not the broth and then I got some chicken thighs over here. How much were they? $6.99 a pack. I got two of those. I think I have two of them downstairs in the freezer as well. I got some um, toaster strudels the um, children and my husband, they enjoy these. They like the toaster strudel. They're okay. Uh, I like the blueberry ones. They're all right, but they love the apple. I also got some um, breaded, uh, what are those? The Mrs. Paul's, the Mrs. Paul's breaded fish for sandwiches. Those are really good with some uh, french fries or tater tots. It's fish and chips is what we call them, fish and chips. So when you're wanting fish and chips, those are really well. And I like Mrs. Paul brand. It's pretty good. I got some straws because I always keep straws on hand. Um, I also, I got some straws because I always keep straws on hand. I also got some um, scrubbers. They were out of them at the Dollar Tree, which is where I usually buy them from for a dollar. But... Um, they didn't have any when I went there, so I ended up getting these. These are kind of expensive. These were five dollars. I could have got five packages at Dollar Tree. And I got some apple juice. Uh, I got some White House apple juice. That's not the brand that I usually get, but I took what I could get. I got some stir fry mix that I'm going to make a veggie stir fry on one of our vegan days of the week. Uh, I got some extra crispy orange, I got some Florida crinkled cut french fries because the kids wanted french fries but all the french fries were absolutely gone. What about where you guys are? Are you able to get french fries or shrimp? I know rice was very difficult to find and now I can't find the french fries. So you can always cut the potatoes up and make homemade french fries which I love better but the children since the four of us are here. Um, I got them some of those. And then I got some uh, organic Honduran K cups. I got some Parmesan crisps for our salads, which we love. We go through salads quite a bit. Um, we got some Angus beef. We got some Angus beef hot dogs that we're going to put on the grill. Um, I got some couscous. Herb chicken is the one that we eat the most. And then I usually add a little um, bell peppers and onions and tomatoes and make it into a garden herb chicken couscous. <laughs> and this is the ranch seasoning packets that I use to make my homemade ranch dressing. I also got uh, oatmeal. You can never go wrong with oatmeal. That's always a good thing to have on hand. And I love the still cut blueberry and cranberries. That's what I eat most often. I got the small rotini pasta. I'm going to make a pasta salad. And I'm going to be using the Olive Garden salad dressing as my sauce for that. Um, I also got some chunky Lighthouse blue cheese. This is the only brand that my family will eat. But it's absolutely great with buffalo wings. I also got some root beer. They go through that quite a bit as well. And my husband prefers birch beer. I shouldn't say my husband. We all like it. We all like birch beer. Um, either one is what they do most often. I got some um, Estancia. I always call it E-Water. 
<laughs> I got some mayo and I'm going to use that just to have in the refrigerator. Uh, uh, but I'm also going to be using that's going to be a part of my ranch salad dressing. Um, I got some extra cranberries that goes great in your oatmeal. I was in the mood for something sweet, so I picked up a, a payday bar. I'll put that on my desk in my office. Sometimes I need a little pick me up at three in the afternoon. You know, some people get coffee. I'll grab a candy bar sometimes. Sometimes. Um, I got some cookie mix, peanut butter and sugar cookies. That's the one we eat the most. Uh, got some hamburger pickles because we're going to be putting those on the grill. I grabbed just a little bit of produce. I've got some ginger that I use every night for my tea. Um, I got a bell pepper. I got some green onions. I got some fresh broccoli that's gonna go in my pasta salad. I got some tomatoes, garlic, and I got some onions. Those will also be used pretty much for almost everything that I cook has those items, whether it's the pasta salad, whether it's the stir fry, whether it's the fried rice, or whether it's the couscous, all those items I use on a regular basis, often. Uh, picked up some bread. Do you guys freeze bread? I have, I have a loaf of bread in the freezer. My parents would put bread in the freezer, and now I've resorted to doing that as well, putting bread in the freezer so that we always have some on hand. I also picked up some frozen vegetables. I got some Brussels sprouts. I picked up some Brussels sprouts and spinach. And then I also got some of this fried rice. Uh, I've never had it before. This was in the frozen section. It has uh, steamed uh, white rice with, it has steamed white rice with chicken, carrots, onions, edamame, red peppers, and scrambled eggs. Um, like I said, I've never had it before. It's 370 calories per serving. Woo! But this whole bag is only considered two servings. And I don't know if I, I don't know if I consider that two servings. Um, I got some salad. Love the salads. I got some sliced American cheese. I got some dental care items. I got some Listerine. And I got some, um, toothpaste. I got some sharp cheddar cheese and I got some four state cheddar that I'll be using. I got some hot dog buns for what's going on the grill. I got margarine, but really it's spreadable butter with olive oil and sea salt. I like this one the best. I'm not crazy about margarine. And I got some paper plates. Um, everything that we needed for our essential haul. Did I talk about the Fritos? I don't know if I said anything about this. I got Twizzlers. I got Twizzlers for um, when I'm watching movies. When I'm watching Netflix, I love to have something to snack on and popcorn, Twizzlers, um, Fritos, and Tostinos always work well. But of course, the Tostinos also work well, as well with your taco salads. And um, the Fritos work well when you're making your hoagies at home. And I think that's it, guys. And this will last us, coupled with what we have, for a few weeks before I have to go back and re-up on things. Like I said, I try not to go out as much as possible, but again, this is an essential haul. But what other items are you guys missing out on? Are you guys having trouble finding rice? I know I am. Are you guys having trouble finding um, eggs? What's the shortage in your area besides the obvious ones? Let me know, leave me a comment. Okay guys, that's a wrap. These are all the essential items that we ran out of and needed to re-up on. So this should last us for a while. So until the next grocery haul, I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Click one of the video links at the end of this video to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, stay safe, stay home, and stay tuned. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.